Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Close on yet again. Let's take a look at where we're going to have those travel issues today. We start the morning off in the northeast here. Most spots expected to be dry this morning. A little more clouds than yesterday. Did you catch the sunset last night in the northeast here? Everyone was sharing phenomenal pictures. A few more clouds this morning. Not sure if that sunrise is going to be as good simply because it's it's too cloudy. Need a little bit of cloud for some good color, but you don't want too much. Now, southeast, we do have the partly cloudy conditions out there this morning. Mainly dry. Eastern North Carolina, southeast Virginia. That That'll be one spot to watch. Florida, uh, Tampa, North, Cedar Key, Spring Hill. Those areas again this morning for the third morning in a row do have rain out there this morning. But everyone else should be dry as we kick off that morning dry. And then for heading further south as we get down into Florida specifically, you know, Tampa down to Naples, Fort Myers, Port Charlotte. Those are going to be some of the communities. Sarasota, you, you have had a lot of rain already. We're going to get more again even this morning. And there'll be actually a lot more into the afternoon right across this zone. Upper Midwest, this is the best spot in the country. Look at this weather. We've got sunshine, dry conditions. Um, the only issue might be we still have some smoke in the atmosphere still watching in Minnesota, but otherwise it's good here. Where and what we're dealing with right now as we start your day. Some uh, issues out there with some rainfall that could be heavy at times. Flood watch in this zone here in the Big Bend area of Florida. Also, there's a flood warning uh, for the Withlacoochee River. And so areas near that going to be a concern. I'm watching, you know, along the Crystal River and all the areas there that just been inundated with heavy rainfall. No flood warnings there, but you do have a flash flood watch. And then in Tampa, we've got showers and thunderstorms now that are sinking south of town, heading down towards Sarasota. That's coming in for your morning. There was actually a special marine warning with that and always a concern for water spouts whenever you have the special marine warnings. We're we're watching for some gusty winds, maybe up over 40 miles per hour. So that's what's happening right now. But you notice that we've got all of Florida painted in green for today. There is going to be more travel issues, locally heavy rain and the problems that come with that, you know, streets filling up with water. If storm drains aren't draining or draining quickly, you'll run into some flooding issues. And that's going to only increase as we get into the afternoon because the showers and storms do increase in number. All right, take us from today through into the weekend, Heaven. All right, well, all right, let's a month. Go. It is <laughs> July was a month with the rain. August is just just beginning and it's a month already, isn't it right? We've just been getting um, inundated with rain thunderstorms in the very same spot. The reason is because this boundary is set up right here. It's still not going anywhere. It's still there today. And you know, we'll see some of those sea breeze type thunderstorms picking up on the increase through today and tomorrow that you're going to see that easterly flow here across South Florida and that will help encourage some of those showers, those afternoon showers and thunderstorms there. But you notice that a lot of focus for today is still on the West Coast. Everything moving from West to east. So training thunderstorms, that's why the rainfall has been added up. You just get thunderstorms that move right into the same areas they just were. And we're going to see that trend again today and uh, honestly into tonight and tomorrow. You see the forecast here this evening. Tomorrow's forecast looks a whole lot like today's, like yesterday's, like Monday's. So um, unfortunately, if you did not like your weather those days, unfortunately, you are going to get it again. Temps are held down though, Tevin, because we do have all the clouds and rain around. So at least it's not in the 90s. At, at least it's not.